So today it's a big day for New South Wales government workers. Oh, yeah. So potentially some of our friends in Yass, Queanbeyan, if you work for the government, um, this is affecting you. Apparently, New South Wales government staff can no longer work from home as of today. This is what the uh, Premier of New South Wales, Chris Minns, had to say. The more our experience of work is shared, the more united we become. And that means being physically present in our organisations. And so, just like that, the comfort and convenience of working from home is now over for public service employees. Five days a week in the office is the expectation that news could be received with mixed reviews from staff. Oh, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I reckon. So the first, the first thing that is an issue is that this was really only released yesterday, and then they said from tomorrow back to the office. But there's a bunch of people who don't live near where their office is. Well, we know people who have that they work for ACT government or yeah. federal government, and they have moved away. From the ACT, yeah, because they know that they don't have to come to the office, yeah. And my brain's like, well, what happens? Do they have to move back, if or do they here? find a job within the New South Wales government where they are, if that exists for them? Yeah, well, specific roles don't exist in state government versus federal government. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know what they're going to do. Look, ultimately, the the winner here is not you. No. If you're the type of person that you want to work from home and you don't want to have to travel into, let's say, um, wherever the city, let's say you work in Sydney mm. um, and you don't have to travel in, you want to work like in, live in the regional areas mm. and you don't have to travel in because um, rent's cheaper and all that stuff. Uh, what's the thing? Um, the life that you have. What's it called? Um, <laughs> work quality, from, of life. quality of life. I don't know what it is. Um, all those benefits, you won't get them because you have to travel in. The plus side is the people who will benefit from this is people in hospitality yep. who run businesses. Um, public transport will be used effectively yeah. um, and – but not you. Yeah. I was reading some comments from people about this online and one person was saying that <laughs> one of their colleagues lives in Noosa. Oh, okay. One of their well, that's... New South Wales colleague, government working colleagues, colleagues lives in Noosa, so and they're not sure how they're going to get. New South Wales, right? Yeah, <laughs> they're not sure how they're going to get from Queensland to the office today on such late notice. Mm. And no more Rex. But it is. Oh yeah, but it is. Uh, the rumour is that ACT might be next with so many government workers here. So we do want to hear from you. Oh four. Oh four. One triple seven one zero four seven. Yeah, shoot us a text. Let us know. Maybe you're a New South Wales office worker, and, and you, you have to out. head back in today. Yep. Maybe you're in the you know outer regions of the ACT, and you've got to go into the office today for the first time in potentially years. Uh, or maybe you're an ACT government worker, and you want to have a chat about the potential for going back into work. Yeah, um, and you can stay anonymous. So if you just want to shoot, shoot us a text message to let us know your feelings about the potential of um, ACT um, APS workers, public mm. servants, um, having to go to back to the office five days a week. Calissa from Ebbett, good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good, thank you. Are you just uh, uh, somebody who's paying taxes or are you a public servant? I'm a public servant. Congratulations. Okay. Welcome. Yeah. You're part of 46% of Canberra. Well done. <laughs> so what are your thoughts about this? Is there any scuttlebutt that it could happen here next? Um, well, my agency, we have a lot of people that work from home. Yep. Mm -hmm. And um, if you, like... If you have a medical condition, like a medical certificate from your doctor to work full time from home, then they will actually allow you to. Okay. Um, but if you're, because I have two small children, so I'm trying to apply for work from home actually. Yes. And they are allowing you to do three days in the office. I mean, three days at home and two days in the office. Okay. Okay. And you're okay with that? Yes. Okay. So because I live in Belconnen and my work is in Tuggeranong. Right. So right. I drive from Everett to Tuggeranong every day. Yeah. And it's just takes a it costs a lot in fuel. Yep. And uh my like and it's um like I was talking to say to your producer, like 
my kids go to um, daycare in Everett. So I have to at least leave at 5 o'clock to get to Everett by 6. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah especially for traffic. traffic's better. Yeah. yeah. So it's very hit and miss. And because sometimes I'm on calls in the afternoon and they can, that can go over my time. Yeah, that, so that is then, tough. So are you saying that you think, Calissa, that it, it would be better that you don't follow suit and... Um, at least have the option to do part, yeah. part-time, part office part-time home? Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. all right, part-time, part-time. Uh, Anonymous, good morning. Anonymous. Oh, good morning, yeah, how are you? you? <laughs> Sorry, I know I can't actually say your name. I know yeah. your name, yeah. but we're referring to you as Anonymous, so it's... It's hard yeah. for you to know that your name is that right now. <laughs> Anonymous, your thoughts and feelings on APS here in the ACT, uh, a lot of abbreviations going on, um, <laughs> yeah. going back to work full time. Um, due to cost of living, like I'm New South Wales, but I also come to Canberra to work, um, with fuel prices, mortgage prices going up. Um, thankfully, I don't have young ones in childcare anymore, but that was a huge expense. Whereas when you can work from home, your children are benefiting from you being present mm. because these days both parents have to work. So you've got your children in childcare. They don't see you that much. Childcare industry now is a strain because it's so hard to get your children into childcare for those that have to use it. Um, yes, working in the industry a couple of days a week um, will also benefit the shops around so that they're still getting that income as well. Yeah. But um, having that mix is a better idea than either full-time at home or full-time in the office. So you think that the Premier of New South Wales, Chris Minns, has missed the mark here by making people be back at work in New South Wales as a public servant five days a week? Yes. Okay. Yep. And your hope would yep. be that ACT doesn't follow the exact path? Yeah. Well, they've got to look at the broader scope with childcare. There's not enough childcare around for people. There's... Um, the cost of living, yep. like yeah. it cost me a couple of hundred dollars, at least two hundred and fifty dollars in fuel a week. Yeah, to come back and forth. Yeah, um, with the cost of living, they're putting more strain on families. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. And like it is like it, even now, I looked at the car today and I was like, oh, I've got half a tank, which mm. means I only just filled up a little while ago. Mm. That's so annoying. Yeah, now I'm going to spend over another hundred bucks. Mm.